Hello folks, I am Carrie Lendo. I am a vintage dealer and a comedian. I sell on Etsy and Macari and I have a Goodwill Bins haul for you. Had my best Goodwill Bins haul probably since pandemic. Let's jump in, it was bonkers. Okay, so the very first piece I found was a vintage Burberry jacket. This was just sitting, now the bins had been picked over completely. They were about to close to do a new cycle and I couldn't believe it. It's a old tag and you can tell because it says Burberry's with an S and they changed their name to just Burberry in the nineties. It's got a great, it's not the classic Nova check lining and the very secret hard to find size tag in the left hand pocket. It's got almost a swing coat cut or like juts outwards. I think there just wasn't very many vintage dealers there that day which I will take, yes, give me it all. All right, they were taking away the bins. It was a race against time. I only probably got to look into like five bins. I grabbed some more stuff. A lot of the stuff I probably wouldn't have grabbed if I wasn't in such a hurry, but I got this, it's a Kara Little Petite. It's very like crepey, so much see-through. It's got this cutout B detail. Just a plain bag. Sometimes it'll take them like 20 minutes to flip the store and then other times it'll take like an hour, so. Wasn't sure if it was gonna stay, so I grabbed this. It's medium, just a cute summer top, beads. The next item I grabbed was this black lace blouse. It's just in the 90s, early 2000s, all lace, goth, kind of Victorian blouse. I was debating, but gothic, kind of moody Victorian stuff does well for me, so it's light. I grabbed it. <laughs> The last thing I found in the morning haul was this quilted jacket. You know I love a quilted jacket. It's 90s, it's silk, it's leopard print, but it's double-sided. <laughs> Boom. Okay, so that was all I found in the first round and then they kicked us all out and I had to wait outside I have everyone spaced out. It only took maybe like 15, 20 minutes. And then it was time for round two, which was also a gold mine. This vintage cat blouse, just an embroidered, some tabbies, plain on the back, denim shirt. I love these things. They used to sell so fast and now they sell so slow. I just always have to pick up cat stuff because it, it used to sell so well. It feels like it should sell so well. I know, if anything, I can dump it at Buffalo, or I have a lot of friends who would be interested in it. Shout out to my friend Kelsey. Next, we have a crew neck sweatshirt. Crew neck sweatshirts sell very well right now. They're very in. I just sold that lemonade one in 24 hours. This one isn't quite as cool and old as some of the other ones, but it is, it's got some distressing. It's the inside's all worn down and it says, 101.5 kicks which apparently is a country station in georgia so win-win next we have this lady i almost put this back i don't love hawaiian stuff it's very slow moving they just made so much retro hawaiian stuff in the 50s 60s 70s but this one did have a tag on it with a brand which is the only reason i got it i would have put it back Pomer. And it's actually a strong convertible. You can wear it as a dress, a halter, or skirt. Tie it, there you go. So I grabbed it and honestly, of all the things I've listed so far, it's the only thing that's in somebody's card on Etsy. So I'm glad I, I'm glad I grabbed it. Next we have funny 90s blouse. It's got like the mola type embroidery on it. It's got a butterfly. This, it's very summery, we're kind of winding down, but I had to buy it. It's got a really cool neon tag with a fish on it. This is Panama Beach. It's probably a women's large or XL. It's got shoulder pads and they're really sewn in there, so I didn't take them out, but it's really unique. It'll take the right buyer. Next we have this boho, it's kind of 70s style, but the tag's actually 80s era. It's just like a 2X plus size, big old hippie blouse. It's got these nice crochet sleeves. 
This next one I almost put back too, but it's just, it's the bins. It's so cheap and light and I was just in a mood. It's a Ralph Lauren Madras polo shirts, button down men's, extra large. And these, there's just so much polo in the 90s. Polo is great if you can find like their old sweaters with like the ducks or the hunting print or like the old plaid midi skirts that are kind of kilts. Those are worth a lot of money, but Ralph Lauren, just the button down men's, there's just so many. But this is a great print, it's a great color. It's so cheap, I had to pick it up. So that's that. So be on the lookout for really novelty prints for Ralph Lauren. Everything else, it's just a lot of competition, but I can always just lower the price. I'll make a profit even if I sell it for 20. Here we have this moto jacket, this kind of windbreaker type color black, oh, early 80s, maybe late 70s, almost oh, a little sheer. Okay, this next item, probably too damaged. I'm not going to sell, but I'm going to keep it for me. And I had to get it because it's this rainbow plaid Pendleton. It's got elbow pads, but it's got a ton of... It's got, a ton, it's got a ton of holes. It's got a ton of holes on the sleeves. There's some down the bottom. I couldn't get rid of her. I couldn't let her go. Just too cool. Like a toxic friendship from childhood. I just had to keep her around. Now I'd like to introduce you to the second quilted jacket I found. I found another one. This one's older. It's 70s. I'll just show you the tag. It's got the vertical quilting. It's a maroon color with a little black accent. It's got a really old tag. The brand is John Woods New York. I found one John Woods New York on Etsy for $125, although the print was a little more trendy than this one. I also don't want to just have it for that long. If it, I'm going to put it for $125. It's going to sit there for a while. So I just put it for $45. Next I found another cat piece. Isn't that amazing? It has no tag. I don't know if it's hand knit, but I just got these big old cats and boom, some roses. This is a great, probably late 80s sweater. I'm gonna put her for 45, nice and big and boxy. This is exciting. This, I didn't find a lot of items, a lot of stuff, a lot of hard goods, but I did find one and it was amazing. Who, hi, I'm a weird dog with a bib on. I'm, I have a bib and I'm drinking maybe milk. So this is just old watercolor, nothing on the back, unframed. I prefer things to be unframed and not behind glass because it's just, I don't, there's so much vintage artwork and I hate mailing it because it's so expensive now. So love that it's not, if, if it was in its frame or had glass, I probably would take it out. Next we have a vintage stuffed dog. This is probably an Airedale Terrier. It looks kind of like a schnauzer, but it's a Steiff style, S-T-E-I-F-F, -F, but it's not. If this were, it would be worth like $100, $200. But it's just a knockoff, although I think knockoffs are fun. He's a little aged, which I think also helps his look. Put him up for 40. This is not the original bow, but I kept it on because whoever loved him last made him this little scarf. It's still going. I found a lot of lingerie. A lot of it had flaws or just wasn't quite the right style, but I did Decided to take one. This is this leopard print, a little cami, 90s style. I found some good t-shirts. Now, some of the normal t-shirt bros weren't there, but there were some, and they just didn't want these, so I took them. We got this Costa Rica t-shirt. It's got, I like it's got the mola, which is like this style of neon fabric quilting embroidery in Central America. We've got toucan. XL, or no, double X, double XL, even better. This one, I think I saw somebody put pack or pass on, and then I made my way to that bin, and I can't believe they did, because it's a vintage, I mean, it's not super vintage, it's probably from early 2000s or late 90s, Big Sur, California, got the sea otters, but vintage Big Sur is pretty rare. I mean, it's just kind of a hard place to get to, and people are going now more than ever, but... To find vintage, it's hard. If you look on Etsy or Macar or eBay, not a lot of vintage Big Sur t-shirts. So the fact that it says Big Sur is great. Cute otters are just a bonus. Probably was only there for 45 minutes. I'm very happy. I found a nice variety of sizes, from small to two eggs. I found some men's, women's t-shirts. Summer, spring, winter, 
fall of things. I picked up, I didn't really find any designer pieces or newer pieces, but I also just had so much stuff and I wasn't even really geared towards that. I did pick up a couple t-shirts just for me. This one, it's a little too beat up probably to resell in the collar. I also picked up this Beatles junk food t-shirt because I'm like, oh, I can wear it a couple times and maybe throw it up on Macari and just see, you know, if I could sell it for like 15 bucks. <sighs> okay, that's my haul, me and Ponytail. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, check out my Etsy store, and I'll be back soon with another haul. Bye.